Axel Baron time. <laughs> So, as I said in the fleet address, we've got an axle bearing to do on this guy before I can really do the road testing I gotta do to make sure the motor's good and happy. So I figured that I would, oh, I'll show you what I did to the transmission too. Not on this car, on uh, a split case that I had floating around. Um, I'm gonna jack up the ass end of the car. I'm only doing one side, one bearing, and I'm gonna try to pitch the transmission as much as I can so that I don't lose all the fluid I just put in the transmission. You know, completely tilt the car too. Why not, right? Oh, good. Well, at least the seal's leaking. There we go, come on. Nice. There we go. Okay. Ooh, ooh -hoo. Wow. Wow. I have never seen that before. Uh, all right, well, I was only supposed to do one, but now that I'm seeing this, I may, I may talk him into doing both. Wowzers. That's really bad. I've never seen that before. So to do this next part, it's really helpful to have um, one of these. Um, there's a guy on the Samba, Fritz Tools, that makes these. Um, I can't remember the part number, um, but it was $55 shipped, uh, and it's really nice. Um, I'll uh, keep a link in the description uh, for these. These are super cool. Um, and the way these work are um, right over here, this high part on the tang actually uses the spacer as a fulcrum point. So what I have realized I have to do is kind of take the tool apart a little bit and then put it back together on the car so that everything is nice and tight and snuggy the way it's supposed to be. Because um, it is kind of difficult to just like put it on. So what we're going to do here, come on, come on, I'm going to get the other washer. There we go. So this little foot's going to go right in there like that. Back this guy out a well ways. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Leave that there. We'll put the other side in. And then you're gonna have to do a little bit of squeezing, but you got a couple of washers that fit in here. Thusly. Come on. Okay, and then squeeze that. the bolt goes through, put the nut on the other side, and then line this guy up. And I honestly, I was able to pull the other one out with my hands, but this one I think is seated a little bit more, so I'm going to have to get a wrench to put on the back of this. I'm definitely not going to use an impact because that is danger horse. Is that a 19? 
and it comes out so far pretty easy. Oh, yeah, there we go. should just slide off like that and keep everybody in place. So I'm going to have to clean some of these up. I got to, I'll steel wool the outer spacer and the inner spacer because that's going to go back in there. And I've got to figure out how to clean all of in there as well. Oh God, that is nasty. As far as I know, you got to be really careful not to pull this axle out too far because it can fall out of the uh, fulcrum plates in the transmission and then you're really screwed. Um, so just be mindful of that. Um, yeah, so while I'm cleaning this up, uh, we're going to cut to the split case that I've been fooling around with and, uh, and then we'll get back in here. So I've been fooling around with a, a f what I believe is a 58 or 9 um, split case trans that I'm going to try to rebuild. Uh, to put in Clementine. I was going to film this whole thing, the disassembly of it anyway, um, but I was having some difficulty getting this side of the case off, um, and that was because there's a super long through bolt that goes through uh, the case half, and I didn't see it because someone had welded the wrong size nut on the other side, so I, I just kind of glossed, glossed over it because it's not what I was looking for. But I finally got it off. Um, I'm going to disassemble all this a little further and then, uh, I mean, pretty much, you know, I'm going to take the guts out of it. I'll leave that all together. Um, and then I'm going to take the tubes and the case halves um, and these guys uh, to a machine shop to be um, jet washed so that everything's nice and clean and I can paint it when it goes back together. Um, you know, but everything so far looks looks pretty not bad so I don't think there's gonna be a lot that I need to do to it honestly I think it's just gonna be a general inspection of all these parts um, you know I I think I might like to at least replace the diff bearings because this one binds up a little bit right here it gets a little sticky um, I want to check the spider gears in here because um, I know at least on the late model transmissions those guys um, that the corners of those um, can kind of start to crack so I want to do some inspection in the diff and make sure that's good check out the other bearings that are here I know that I have to reset the preload on this guy because I can kind of do that so I might check the preload on both of these though I think I need a special jig to do that with um, but only just like you know small easy little things that I want to do to this so we'll see um, and then uh, and then it'll go back together and likely end up in Clementine because the 60 box that I have in there now is not uh, is not happy I can't seem to get that in into third or fourth um, because of these and I don't want to swap these out so I'm gonna to have to get another 58 or 9 uh, hockey stick to go in this because I ruined this one trying to make the other car work um, so hopefully that'll be easy to find but this is gonna be a slow burn project because I got so many other things going on um, well anyway hopefully at this point I have that cleaned out and uh, we can continue on that car alright so we've got this guy uh, it's got a bevel on the inside of it here the other side is flat. Uh, I believe the bevel goes inside because it's got a mating flange here on the axle. So we're just going to slide this guy over. Try to pick up the axle a little bit. Yep, that looks right to me. Okay. So I'm going to wipe that uh, slot out one more time here. <clears throat> then we've got to figure out how to get this bearing on because it is obviously bit of a tight fit. Of 
Part of me wants to hit this with some steel wool, but who knows. Um, I'm going to do the groove facing out. This is all metal, so I guess guess I'm going to try to heat that up, this inner race here, and then just uh, tap it on with a, a hammer. too hot. <laughs> Let's do a little So before we can continue, I've got to clean this guy up. You get to see a lot of that. Um, so let me uh, let me take some time to set this guy up, and then we'll finish this. Okay, we're carrying on. I've got the heat shut off now. Uh, what am I going to do first? Um, I think I'm actually going to put this together. You've got uh, your little washer here. That's going to go on like that. And then the smaller O-ring is going to roll over like that. Okay, because at some point we're going to put this guy back on, beveled edge in, and that's going to sit on that guy. But we got to do these first, so I'm taking one of the paper gaskets a lot of the seal kits will actually come with two of these and two o-rings and two washers you don't need all of them when you're doing a bug um, the kits are also um, equipped to do uh, reduction boxes on um, split window buses um, so for a beetle you only need like you know the things that you need usually one of these one big o-ring one small o-ring one uh, small washer that goes back there. Some of the later Model 1s have uh, two washers, um, but for a car this early, um, it's just one. So I'm going to take some schmoo and just, uh, you know, paint the outs both sides of this and slap that on. I usually put the whole face down, even if the... Um, even if the carrier does not have a hole in it. A little weep hole. Okay. So I might have to get on the floor for this part so that I can see things. <laughs> so how do I want to do... I think I'm going to put this, the O-ring on first. Try to get it out of that groove. Okay. And then I'm actually going to take this guy and put the schmoo on the back of the carrier. And it's going to go face down again like that. I'm just going to maybe gently push that over like that. Okay. Take the bolts. little tiny baby bit of that axle oil and just wet the surface of this guy and remember the bevel side is going to go the bevel side is going to go in like that that should be all she wrote so let me clean all this up get the drum back on and uh and I've got a couple other things to do, and then we can try to take this for a ride. Mm. 
All right, well, I, uh, I just took this around the block. It's a night and day difference. Uh, it's much, much quieter, at least around the block. Um, I've got a couple of things to do to this before I can take it up on the highway. Um, and then uh, hopefully we can get closer to getting this out of here and focusing on other things. I'm sorry this ended up being a short episode, but like I just said, I'm very busy. I have lots to do. So uh, some of it I just want to get through. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at WickedWorks. And um, see you at the next one.